hello everyone welcome back so today i am going to create a video where i will show how to show a custom alert view inside swift ui so actually this was requested by one of my subscribers so i am creating this video for him hopefully you find it useful so let's get started and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to this channel where i daily post not daily means i post mostly on uh, weekday i post hardly but on weekends i post four to five or ten, almost 10 videos about swift ui so whenever i learn something new i try to post that here so that everyone can learn so without further ado let's get started so today we are going to create a app something like this where i will show a list and if you tap on this button you will be showing this alert view so currently we have not modified this view but you can modify it according to your use and once you click this cancel button that get hide and there will be some animation as you have seen so let's get started and create xcode project so make sure you are using xcode beta here then select app then uh, here let's name it as custom alert view make sure interface is swift ui and lifecycle is swift ui app and language is swift click next and let's save it on our desktop okay so let me just resize my canvas let's click resume okay so first what we will do is we will create a new view for our custom alert view so let's say command n click then you can select swift ui here or you can directly select swift UI, normal swift file and you can write the complete code from scratch so we will do that and let's name it as custom alert view let's create okay so this is our normal empty class so let's import swift ui first okay so here we are going to create our uh, alert view so let me just name this as custom alert view which will be consuming to view protocol and inside this we need body property not this let me type it where body some view okay now let me just open the canvas here not like this canvas canvas okay problems here let me just close this okay so it is asking it is there. so since there is no view inside this that's why it is giving us this warning or error let's get started so to create a alert view first we need some background color to that alert view so in in our case we have seen here that it has some uh, black background so i'm going to give black so let's create a z stack for that and for this z stack what we can do is we can give some frame ok my bad i have to give the frame here frame let's give it as 200 by 200 we don't need alignment so we can remove that ok then let's give it a background color background color we will give as said previously black and then at the last we will give some corner radius of say 20 corner radius is like this one corner radius okay now ba our background view is ready now we have to create the inside part where we have to show this cross button so what i will do is i will first use a v stack here inside this v stack i will use h stack and then inside h stack i will use a button button with action and label and let me remove the extra spacing okay and i will call this button over here i have to show the content for my button so this will be my button so i want a cross icon so I will use image 
and I will use system image which is system name is uh, yes X mark yeah and let's resize that using resizable and we don't need a, a, all this so let's remove that then after this we need to a set of frame so since our this is cross is very small so I will say it's around 20 by 20 and again we don't need alignment so we can remove that okay so frame is ready let's give the foreground color to it since our uh, background is black so I will give button foreground color as white okay so our button is ready now so what else we need is we need to add some uh, operations to it so we have to show this alert view when user tap this add button so here we will in the main view we will declare one property which will be show alert it will be bull if it is true then we will show this and we will pass that value to this alert view view and that value is passed here then that value is true and when user click on this we have to make it false so that we will hide this pop-up so first let's take that value here and that value we have to use using the binding so that it will pass to the previous view and it will update the value in the previous view also so let's call this as show alert and it will be of type bull okay and here we need to change its value show alert dot toggle so toggle basically change the value from true to false and false to true okay now let's head back to our main view and let's create it so here what we want is we want to use different things like um, now I want my uh, user to see a list like we have seen here we have to show a list and on top of that we can show that that alert so let's create a list first so let me use first what I will do is I will use Z stack also here because I want to give some animation to this like spring animation you can say this is spring animation so for that I need to use Z stack here so let's squeeze that let me open the canvas okay so let's use here Z stack now this Z stack will have some animation which is dot spring okay now instead of this I will use navigation because I want to show this title at the top and this button I have to add to the navigation so let's do that navigation view navigation view we have created and inside this we have to use list list will be from 0 to 100 we can say less than 100 and we can give here underscore in. and here we can display our data so basically I want to display an image and uh, image uh, will be let's say a system image system name and it will be person okay and behind, below this I have to use some text so I will say text will be like let's give our channel name channel okay then we have our list ready let me just click here try again let's see if we can see our list okay now we are able to see our list let me just run this okay we can see our list so after this what I want to do is I want to give some title to my see you can see that the my navigation is empty so to give a title to navigation you have to use something like this navigation navigation title let's tell here as welcome say welcome then we have to give button here so let's use something like this navigation uh, items and i don't want leading i want trailing so use trailing let me just write it properly so that you can understand okay trailing then for trailing what i want is i want to use a button and button will again have some like action and label okay action will be 
I have to here show uh, so when it once I type on the this button here so my button name will be like add as we have seen in our video here we will call it add and once I type on that I have to show the alert so again I have to take this value so for that I need to create a property first so I will create a state private where show alert and by default it will be false so that at the start it will not show the alert and here we will toggle that value so show alert dot toggle if I make it true it will by default show that view so if you are seeing that how you can show that view uh, let me tell you that so this is our navigation view outside this what we are going to do is if our property show alert is true then we have to show our custom alert view which is here okay let me just rename it okay custom alert view we have to show and here we need to pass that value to the next view so that's why it is giving this error so let's click on this and you have to pass it so it is expecting a binding variable so we have to start with dollar and then show alert so that it will pass the value and once that value is updated here it will pass that value back to this view so that's why this dollar sign is there and then now inside this button action okay i have hmm. now it's the right okay now let me just click build okay there is some problem here let me just write this part again navigation or with trailing inside trailing i want a button and button wait and button will have some action and label let me call this as add and here show alert dot toggle now click command b to build the project and see ok now it's fine let me just remove the extra spacing here now if you can see let me just try again now the value is true so it should show that alert actually let me just see here okay let's come back to our main view and now what we can do is you can see here i can see my alert one change what we can do is currently my this alert cross button is exactly at the center so I want that on the corner so for that what you can do is come to the here and inside as tag you can add some spacer which will just move that around let me just check it here how it looks now okay it's still there we need to add some more spacer let me add it at the bottom or I can add some padding to my this alert view and some space ok let's check now ok so it is still not coming let me just run it on the actual simulator until this loads what we can do is we can just write some extra code here which is we have given animation we have shown the alert then we have also toggled the values here we have given the title and i think we have done everything okay and let me just go through the custom alert few ones 
so here I have taken the binding variable of okay. z tag I will use z tag I will use x tag then I have given spacer and then I have given some padding also here and here I have added some space okay so everything is fine let's see okay you can see that it's working on the actual simulator so if I click close so by default when I run the app you can see that it is showing me the alert by default because this value is true so make it false and now run again and now let's see okay and now just click on add and you can see it's showing that but you can observe that the animation is there but the back part is not getting height which is actually happening in our previous apps or the video demo which we have seen at the start so to do that what you have to do is you have to add some blur effect so let's do that so you have to add that blur, blur effect on your navigation view like this blur you have to tell how much blur you want so I want it 30% but only when my show alert is visible on the screen so for that what I will do is I will say sh show alert if it is true then show 30% else hide it completely that is 0 now let's run and see ok uh, sorry here you have to do colon right. ok now let's see ok now it's looking better and now you can modify this alert view as however you want so i hope you guys have liked this video and this is all about showing a custom alert view in swift ui and if you have liked this video make sure you hit the like button and to see more videos like this in the future make sure you hit subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions for the future videos make sure you mention them in the comment section below so thank you guys for watching this bye